Hello. We got a special guest. All right. LJ's here, y'all. <laughs> LJ from Red Hook. That's what this is. This uh, that's her street cred, so to speak. Let me have a little water I'll take here. It. I'll take it. Let me reach. Oh no, okay. this looks like I'm reaching crazy. <laughs> water, water. Oh, wait, you got your water? Yeah, no, but it's There's okay. three waters in here, sir. I will do that to you. Uh, All right. It's There's uh, water back there with LJ, maybe. Here. Mm -hmm. Let me water flow this. I can't see my face. See, we break bread <laughs> over here. Oh wow, I can't see your face. Boom. Da -na -na -na. <laughs> Give me a high five. We are and in cut and Big Elvis to Chef Rosenberg's studio. You know, you guys remember this place here. The ceiling was falling down. What did I do? Boom, I spruced it up for you. Yeah. Why should I in any way, shape, or form? go with uh, uh, the regular color and just like lift it up. No, I wanted to give it studio vibes. I think, I've, I think I totally achieved that. I think and one of the fly, things man. I did notice is that it looks so much better without it being open here. This opening part doesn't look as good. But right here, bam, it looks amazing. It's fresh to death. So I have a light, <laughs> I have a light here that's shining on LJ. And then I change all the lights inside the car to LED lights. So now the LEDs pop up in the car where they were not. And then even in here, so you can see us in that perspective. Can you do yours, please? Okay. And even though the sun is kind of out, it's very cloudy in New York City on what's today's day? Anyone? Anyone? It's the 26th. It's March the 26th. 26th. March 26th. Do you yeah. know that March 25th uh, is the anniversary of that movie that just brought to my mind when I said anyone, anyone, not Ferris Bueller's Day Off, but The Breakfast, but no, um, <laughs> what's the one where they were in that school and they were doing, um, what were they doing in that school? They were doing... You were talking about they had detention? They had detention. That was uh, the Breakfast Club. That, that was the, the Bre Breakfast Club. Okay, yeah. yeah. So the Breakfast Club... Um, Don't you forget about me. I'll be alone. Dancing, you know it, baby. Yo, I love that. So it was great. Yeah. That's... Uh, yeah, yeah, that was such a good movie. That was a great soundtrack. I'm 50 years old. <laughs> Unlike Ulrich, young, 30... Three. three year old, and no, I say young I respectfully. No and then we have LJ, who's how old? 39. 39 years old. Look at that with no hesitation. <laughs> no hesitation. <laughs> well, Ulrich and I, we, Ulrich and I, this is a, actually a little twist I have of the show that kind of came to me when um, I was basically every week I send Ulrich stuff so that we can play and talk about. True that. And everyone is talking about Diddy right now. Do you know about this? Diddy. Are you up to speed? What did what did Diddy do? <laughs> what didn't Diddy do? <laughs> what didn't Diddy do? Purr. Yeah. <laughs> Purr. Oh, that's right. <laughs> hey, it's, it's perfect. Hey, the Diddy. Is supposed to hey, scratch. girl. I don't know. Like, you know, I'm still biased a little bit. Oh, oh. I am still biased. Wait, wait, actually, I can't, wait, I gotta st stop, you know, my coworker now says, and my coworkers are a little younger than me. Some of them, they're 25, 26. Oh, Rick, the educator. Yeah. He just got out of school. I went and picked him up. He's teaching new kids. Your mind's trying to, anyway. But, he has a curriculum, so he's limited. But, so, so, so they still do, like, things when people, they, they still in the thing say, uh, when, you know how kids say, hey, yo, or something, when something sounds a little hey, suspect? Oh, 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 hey, sus, yo, that's what my kids things. say, yeah. No, said, but, said, but they, they actually say, that's Diddy. <laughs> they say that. I promise you, no lie. I will put them on the phone to. He says that. He's, or he says, no, no, no. He You're gonna say that again. <laughs> this has got to be a short. I uh, love you. No. He, he says, wait, wait. But it's not. It's not. It's. It's not said. It's not like that. Said it's like that. That. That's a Diddy do or something. It's something Diddy. 
It's like that's Diddy. It's something Diddy. No, I want you to start all over and tell me how okay. this whole thing so starts. All right, so, my, so you know how kids say. So my hey, yeah. So my coworkers again, they're a little younger than me, and now I gotta separate myself because you know that uh, it's not that I care about gay people's rights or anything, but I don't talk in that vernacular where I'm insulting towards that. So when anybody says something. Uh, like, uh, you know, does something a little suspect. I'm not like pointing them like, hey, yo, or something. That's not my style. So that's why I'm differentiating myself. Anyways, so they, they still in that little young mind. So say every time something they, they something happens, that's some little suspect. Like, I remember something, like, they, we were talking about rough, we were talking about meat. And we were talking about meat that was like, meat that was like soft or something like that, tender meat. And I said, I don't really like soft meat. I like something I could work through. And I go, oh, that's Diddy. Wow. <laughs> so, like, what, wait, 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 wait. This is another question. I get, all right, that did sound a little suggestive. I no, guess. yeah, of course. You totally <laughs> fell into that. But it's great that you now, by you falling into that little hole uh, of instead of, hey, yo, it's now. That's Diddy. Yeah, I don't, I don't talk at you, but it's funny that you when mentioned When did this Diddy. happen? What was the date on this? I need to know this the happened, date This this. happened Monday, and this happened today. This Monday, happened Monday and today. And today. today. So we're talking, let's get some dates here. We're talking about, whoa, this is right at, wait a yeah, minute. This is, this is you actually, could have possibly, dude, been part of this reality that we're in, and you got it the first damn day it happened. So the, 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 the first, the this day, isn't the day stuff old? Oh no! I'm just saying that, that oh. you saying the first day you you caught it was the same day they braided his homes, and my thing is that wait, you so you up you with these youth, the minds that you right away are catching things so quickly. That's going on. That's Diddy. I don't know. I don't, I've, my kids have never said that. That's Diddy. They still a yo yeah. and I have to scold them. Stop saying no. But that, I think, but it's this rude. might be unique. I don't. I haven't heard this catch on. But it says specifically with the the other. Well, I'm like the coach and the uh, other science teacher mm. but yeah but it's not, I don't, it's not that I heard everybody we just happen to we say crazy things you know amongst ourselves in the room sometimes so maybe they feel comfortable saying it but I don't know if it's a, a widespread thing like I don't think anybody's no. really being this like, is what I'm saying it's gonna happen now no. now that you now that you said what you said that the children are referring to it as Diddy you know I'm telling my kids but anyway, China Dwight Howard is a Mac. big thing too. Oh, with China Mac. I What's think that? China Mac said that. I want to check my phone. Wait. Okay. Wait, wait. Who's China Mac? China Mac is the Chinese guy who um, grew up in the New York system for like, like boys. You know, he got in trouble as a little boy. Had issues. His father was a was a gangster, and a Chinese gangster in Chinatown. And um, this is right before the, uh, the the DEA just cleaned up that whole area in the 90s. Yeah. And his father um, gave birth to a child by one of his, like, side chicks. And that's China Mac. And I say that respectfully. I could be wrong about his mom because they have a great relationship. You know, they're really close. But at one time in her life, she just couldn't deal with him. So she just kept putting him in people's homes and other homes. And then he's he's a, he's wrapped around that home life, so he picks up the whole um, hip hop vernacular and his cadence and his delivery and every the way he speaks. He's you would never question that um, he you would never question that you would never suspect that he was who he was until you saw you like whoa who is this guy here? This is the same guy and he does music. Yeah. And I was a huge supporter you know i never i'm you know i'm nobody's fan but i was a huge supporter of his when he did all of, from the all his career and he was very famous for having this no front tooth right here so he had this gone now he's fixed it and he's, you know, he's much more mature but he's um okay so it's not coming up but no diddy trend has been viral for no, no, no diddy that's what it was yeah. he said that's what he said he said no diddy that's oh. what he said like like no uh, h oh. word not that's diddy. that's what it was no that's diddy. it it was no diddy i know it was something along the fact Diddy. it was no okay. diddy I yeah because it, it, it flowed better than that's it, what it, it i was working better. on i was working better. on the no yeah. diddy yeah but i've heard the 
the one that you just said. Which one was it again? No, that's no Diddy. No Diddy. No Diddy. I've heard that. Yeah, I thought this was that's Diddy. In other oh, words, no. they were putting that <laughs> nail in the coffin. These kids, I was like, oh my God, these kids put a nail in the coffin of <coughs> Diddy. Yeah. So I'm glad we cleared that All up. Right. You know, here at the Premium Black News, we're quite known for um, <laughs> diving yeah, deep. It's been around. Now we found it's it. I never. Nah, I've never. I've never. That's the first time I've heard it. Right. But Channel Mac is my guy, you know. I, I I troll him a little bit on the internet. Nothing crazy, you know. I've even done a. a Wait, a didn't your kids see him live or something like that? We time? saw him at his. Uh, he did a Halloween party, yeah, a, ha yeah, a haunted yeah, house, yeah, and we that. went to the haunted house, and I did a whole live. Yeah, yeah. And Maddie was that. like, I don't want to go inside. I don't want to go inside. Oh, oh yeah. So they were minuscule. That another giants. <laughs> yeah, I need to waterfall that again, please. Right. Come on, mm -hmm. go crazy. Then we saw, or well, I saw him outside of King's Theater in February of 2019. When well, we went to the Pop Smoke. When we went to the Pop Smoke concert. Right Until before Pop, Pop Smoke, Smoke died. Yeah, right, before, right before he died. You snooze, you snooze, you lose. Yeah, yeah, but he wasn't he wasn't allowed to perform because he got an open case. Oh, oh, oh. They replaced Pop Smoke with P&B Rock. So P&B Rock. Who's that? who's that? He's the guy who was eating food at the Roscoe's and they oh, aired him out. They killed him. They killed him at the Ross. Wait, wait. What's that? What's what's the song? I don't know that. Yeah, baby, do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, girl. Also, uh, welcome. Also, also, again, welcome to the debut. We never had a guest star, a guest host before ever. Well, I don't even know if LJ from Red Hook is going to even be a guest. Oh. I mean, a host. I think. No, no. I mean, a, gu a guest. I think she's going to be a guest. A guest. A guest. Right. So Let like 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 LJ, She's on a panel. We we're are, not the we discussion know, panel. We're not we might not be doing a discussion. We might be actually just talking with LJ for a minute. Okay. Hey LJ. Hey. How are you? I hope I don't you're not filling <coughs> the spot in any way. It seems like this could be looked at as like, why are you putting LJ on the spot? I mean she's here. You, she's <laughs> here. I think it's like it's like the universe well, you kind of know thing. Me. They yeah. know you. Yeah. This is uh, LJ, this is Natasha in Jordan chat. in the chat. No one's ever hotter in the chat. Than mm. <laughs> this is a fact. Yeah. You speak nothing but truth, my friend. Say, family, cousin. <laughs> so so tell us so tell us a little bit about yourself. Where where are you from? Well, <laughs> I was born by a river. In, in a little Bronx. tent. Yeah. <laughs> I was born in the Bronx, raised in Harlem. Bronx, New York. Bronx, New York. And how long until the you were raised in Harlem? More Seniana section. How long? At what age were you when you left from the Bronx? I'm assuming you know, right from birth, you leave. Well, how old were you when you left, left the Bronx? Oh, you was eleven. I was so. 11. What what are your what are your fondest memories of before moving from the Bronx? Like, do you remember, like, do you have like a particular smell that you remember of like some sort of food or like maybe a store you went into that always reminds you of the Bronx? Or do you have um, like uh, what's your child fond memories? And then I would like to know what sound does the Bronx make in your mind when you? When you say I was in the Bronx, <laughs> what are you thinking as far as to get ahead? So that was a two question. Sorry. Okay. <coughs> so, the first question, my fondest Bronx memory, is that? You yeah, you can go there and start. I would say where my mother moved once she left her mother's house. We moved into 167th off of Jerome. Was that? Yeah, off of Jerome. It's a huge duplex building right next to the infamous staircase. That's like, you know, four staircases in one. The one where they did the Batman movie? The one where they did the Batman 176 movie. Street, Jerome Avenue. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what, what, what did you mean the Our infamous staircase? Well, like, you know, um, on the staircase. So. Okay. You know, it was a gated staircase because back then the crackheads used to break into windows was rampant. The early I'm 90s. I'm sure it's still gated. You know, no, 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 not like the early 90s. Right, the early right. 90s, different. everyone's windows were getting broken into right. by a crackhead. Like, right, right. It was like the movies. <laughs> so your fondest memory is when you moved into the place with mom or living there? Living there. Mm. You know, 
walking up and down that staircase. You know, I was very independent as a child. I would take myself to school, you know, at that age. So. And how tall were teacher. you at that age? Seven? I was probably five nine. Five, ten. At seven years old. <laughs> and, and for those that, th that don't know, LJ is six foot what? Four. Six foot four. And um, I love that about her. I love her height. I love how tall she is. She can reach things that I'll never be able to reach. <laughs> um, I love that. So then after leaving, after leaving the Bronx, wait, wait. So you're living in that apartment. It's cool. Then what about when you went to the Bronx? How, what's your fondest, what, what fond memories you have there? Because you're 11 now. You're like, you know, you're shaking and baking. It's five foot nine, you know? The hydrant, I would say, you know, on Weeks Avenue, where my grandmother lived for 53 years, where I was where we lived when they brought me home from the hospital. You know, we stayed there up until I was five. And then I would spend a lot of time there. She would keep me a lot, my grandmother. So um, I was in the hydrant, watching the hydrants uh, right. blast the water. You know, all the kids playing outside. I wasn't allowed to go out there and play with them. So I would just watch them from the window. Right. <laughs> it was like right, blissful right. kids like laughing, playing, yeah, right, 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 yeah. Cars and the going rainbow by, in the background. Barbecuing, ice cream truck. <laughs> so so why weren't you allowed outside to be in play in the in the hydrants and stuff? Because they didn't want me doing that, you know, that was I won't say looked down upon, but you know, my grandmother wasn't, um, she wasn't having that. <laughs> right, my mom too. My mom didn't let me go into the, to the um, sprinkler. She said, you're gonna get hit by a car. That was her whole point. You're gonna get hit by a car. I'm like, mom, there's like 17 kids around the hydrant. Mm -hmm. Can I please get in the hydrant? And she thought the ice cream truck was dirty. So she would take me to like Carvel's, right. buy me ice cream, or buy me. Carvel was more, more, more classy, fresh, right? yeah, more official, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you know, and, and what I know about your mom, sorry, 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 sorry. Can I continue? No, I said it was too risky. Too risky. Like the ice cream trucks, yeah, right? Yeah, Mr. Softy. My mother doesn't even buy bottled water on the side of the road. She believes that it's contaminated. They opened it and glued it back right. from old bottles. Mm -hmm. Like she's not into that. Everyone stuff. knows that person. Don't yeah. you know that person? Yeah, my mother's like that. Yeah, yeah. everybody yeah. knows this person. This person you described, if without this person, we would cease to exist. That's a fact. The warrior wars. Yeah, the warrior. Yeah, the warriors. Warriors. You can't say worry for some reason. Like you can't say, say worry. 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 So, so um, my grandmother used to always let in the Jehovah Witness and listen to them and then like talk about them when they left. Mm. <laughs> and she wasn't into the religion. She <laughs> would just have them. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> she was sweet. Entertain me. I remember she was sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was a sweetie. So how was your relationship with your grandma? Oh, wonderful. Oh right. Like what what um what fond memories do you have of her at that time of your life? Ooh. Anything stand out? Yes. My grandmother was big into education. Like she would work with me with uh, workbooks and puzzles. And, and which grandma are we talking about? The grandma here in the Bronx? Yes. Okay, great. Huge on education, you know. She had, she bought me hooked on phonics. She bought me that. Uh, he has risen. Like, she, wait, what's that? He has risen was a Christian. It was a Christian. You, you know, hooked on phonics, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah he has risen. Oh, it's a Christian version. Oh. Hooked on phonics. It was like Bible-based stories, nice. like oh, that's workbooks, cool. and cassettes to go with it. Yeah, I that's a great memory. <laughs> I mean, that's great. Mm -hmm. They don't even make stuff like that anymore. He uh, has mm -hmm. risen. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm sure. Like that's on purpose. I'm sure they I make it in Utah has that. Mm -hmm. Utah has that. <laughs> Kansas yeah, has that. Yeah, exactly. 
respectfully. I say that respectfully. But look, we use my baby can read with our children. So my baby can read. Definitely, you know, education. I set up an education corner immediately. You know, as soon as our kids woke up, 10, 10 months they were looking at. What we were doing, you know, the alphabet, ABCs mm-hmm. every day. Repetition is everything. Right. And she's and talking about smart. her two children she has now. <laughs> yes. She has a... Uh, how old are your children now? 11, 13. Right. And pubescence. Pubescence. Yeah, people are always <laughs> so shocked about how articulate your children are and just how witty and how they get it. And yet they still are children, which is great. You know, I always have to constantly remind them. Mm-hmm. You guys are just kids. Calm down. Relax, relax. I tell them. Words, language is how you set yourself apart from the person next to you. You know, Ola can relate. He's super, you know, you're my yes. word guy, even though he denies oh, it. No. <coughs> anyway. So, so um, you leave, you leave the Bronx. You go to Harlem. You're 11 years old. Mm-hmm. What's going on in Harlem? Ooh, it was very black. You know, the Bronx Whoa. was black, but Latin. You know, I had the mix of both. Harlem was black and Jamaican at that time. 145th, the Jamaicans used to always uh, be on St. Nicholas. Right. Um, so we're talking St. Nicholas and what street? 145th Street. 145th we and St. Nicholas. Edgecombe. We lived on Edgecombe. 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 I know Edgecombe. I went to a church over there. 137th and Edgecombe. 137th and Edgecombe, right, right, right. 137th and Edgecombe. It's Methodist. Methodist, yeah. right. That's the Methodist church there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you challenging me? <laughs> no, 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 no. I walked past there, so I know it wasn't a Baptist yeah, she, church. Yeah, she probably walked past you that know. church 350 yeah. times. Yes, so How long did you live there? from 1995 until 2004 when, you know, we moved in. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You lived there from 11 to what? To 19. 11 to 19, and then you left there and that's when you met me? Yes. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. What is one of your fondest memories of that time in Harlem, 11 years old. How tall are you in 11 years old? Hmm, by 11, I was six feet. Six feet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you care to tell how much you weighed? Ooh. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, probably, if I had to guess, two fifty. Yeah, I would imagine. Okay. When you met me at 19, how much did you weigh? <laughs> hmm. Maybe 170. Yes. You're 165 when I met you. Six foot four, 165. So when you were this before 19, there was a period where you were like not only super tall, but you was actually a little bit of a big girl. And did you have, how was that being 6'4 and a little bit overweight at 15, 16 years old? Because, I mean, you did lose the weight. Yeah. And you looked, like, I saw you, I was blown off my, I was blown off, you know, I was like, wow, this is going to be my wife. That's a fact. Well, as I always say, you know, my peers wasn't attracted to me. It was the grown men that just on and on all up and down the avenues <laughs> but the young your, your contemporaries weren't I was feeling too tall it. for them you're yeah. too tall mm-hmm. you were too tall too tall for my comrades mm. do you remember the time like when height made a difference in your life as yeah. you were growing over it uh in terms of what getting women <laughs> well just in life like you realize that Oh, yeah, maybe in getting women. I, I, remember the, I remember in uh, sixth grade, there was a super tall kid. I think he was like 6'1", six, 6th six grade, and all the women liked him. And I, I, I think I associated height with that for, for maybe for maybe a couple of years. That's all I could, that's the only time I ever remember thinking of, like, 
No, and over by the way, five eleven. He's not no short no. guy. Come on, come on. I'm six two by the way. Which yes, LJ is taller than me. Even though there's a little bit of a story behind that. Do you want to tell that real quick? About what? Do you know what I'm saying or no? I don't. Where I didn't even know. Do you want to tell that? I could tell it. <laughs> I would kind of like to hear your perspective on that because I've said the story in jest many, many times. So, um, do you remember who said it to me and how the situation went? Because you would tell it great, I think, if you were. Your friend Baldy. At what? Me? No. Yeah. Oh, what? All my friends. All my friends are bald. <laughs> you didn't tell me right That's why I I'm not cutting my hair no more. I used to be getting them low face, which now it's over. Say it's too beautiful. Go ahead. Your friend Baldy said, uh, "What did he say?" Hmm. Help me out. Well, my friend Baldy, God bless the dead, he's gone. I would honestly say like one of my really true friends, you know, like a friend of mine from very, very young. And he was actually working at the at my bar. And while working at the bar, we got into a conversation where he was like, yo, man, it's kind of cool. I like her. She's she's real nice. She's pretty. And it's like, yo, it's like you don't even care that she's taller than you. <laughs> and I said, what? I don't know why it's like pulling teeth right now. What's going <laughs> on here? I, <laughs> okay, so Baldy's telling me, I didn't know that, you know, whatever I just said that, you know, it's cool that you don't even know, that you don't even care that she's taller than you. And I was like, she's taller than me. And he's like, yeah, she's taller than you. And I'm like, come here, let me talk to this girl when the next time I see her. And I'm looking at her and I say, oh my goodness, you are taller than me. <laughs> I didn't have no, I, it was, we talking about five months. I'm around her, had no idea she was taller than me. <laughs> you ever dated a woman taller than you, Audrey? Uh, I've, I've, I've been with romantically. <laughs> I've been, you know. He met a tall chick at a bar, yeah, AKA. Yeah. I don't know if I, uh, <sighs> no, not my own relationship, no. The tallest woman I ever dated was 5'9". Could you be in a relationship with a woman taller than you? I don't know that I couldn't. I don't know that I couldn't, but I don't know. I don't know. Would you? I, I don't know that I wouldn't. <laughs> like, I, like, there's certain things I just would say absolutely no. I don't know that I wouldn't, but I don't know if I, like, like would, like, seek it out. I don't know. <laughs> mm. If it happens, it happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, what's it called? I, 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 well, I, it depends on the woman. It depends on his situation. Because, you know, on paper, if someone would have asked me, could you, even though I did date a few models coming up, they were really tall. They were like, when I was like uh, 15 years old, 16, when I was modeling a little bit, little, like nothing crazy, like a summer. Nothing, nothing, I, I didn't even get my portfolio completed. Because the dude wanted to tell people that, like, we was dating and shit. Whoa, 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 bump the brakes, sir. Now I'm Man. leaving. F fuck the portfolio. No diddy. Then he tried to charge me. <laughs> then he tried to charge me. He's talking about I owe him $600. What? He said, I took 1,000 pictures of you. Yeah, but you're opening your mouth crazy. Anyway, I mean, I, can you turn off? You have to turn off your phone now. <laughs> Respectfully. And, um... What was I saying about the the taller women? You're saying the the, the, model, the taller women, the models. The, you, you yeah, so when I was a kid, I thought they were taller than me. They were like 19. I was like 15, 16. I mean, so disrespectful. To but but the, I was going to say, to, in, to in, allow a 15 year old like yeah, that. You know? But in like fifth grade and sixth grade, all the chicks that I had crushes on were all tall. Them. You know, they were early. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, yeah. all mm -hmm. the all the, the ones that were developing early, they were taller. Man. Right, right, yeah. right. So. I never knew she was taller than me. I sometimes joke with myself and say, you're so full of yourself, you didn't see nobody but you. No, but that's, you know, some therapy shit. But um, I just, you know, I just saw so much goodness and so much like in her. You know, there was a little bit of, there was a little bit of sadness in her too, you know, that that drew me to her. And, and um, I'm sure that there's parts of your life where you can, pinpoint these times you know where things are going great and you know you know sometimes things like are shitty 
and times get rough and tough, you know? But she never experienced that, I don't think. Because, you know, her mom lived on Edgecombe, which was a nicer section of Harlem. But she had to stay inside and all the kids were gallivanting in the sun right, rays. She was, yeah, yeah, she was inside and sheltered. So, you know. <laughs> Did you have your hands on your, your, on your, your head in your hands? Like, oh, I want to play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to want to go to the block party. Yeah, what, what actually, what, what, uh, my, my mom. mom took me to Rye Playland. She was like, oh, that's isn't that the worst uh, theme park? <laughs> the, isn't that like the theme park everybody dies? <laughs> Wait, I want to say they don't, uh, don't, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want but you the, don't want anyone coming after you. But when I was a kid, my mom never used to let me play outside. But never, I never looked outside wanting to play. We I never, the first yeah, I, I, too. No, I was on the first one, but I never really cared about playing outside. And to get the, all the good stuff, the television and the video games were inside. When I was younger. Mm. Mm. How long did you deal with that? Okay. Until what age were you allowed outside? I was never. Maybe with the college. <laughs> not, not, not allowed outside. I don't want to say. <laughs> beta. <laughs> beta. <laughs> I, but I was, it's not, it wasn't allowed outside. I, I, I didn't really even have an interest to even uh, gauge that or chase that until you know college. So I didn't even. I, 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 if I pushed the boundaries, I probably could have, you know, did it earlier. I think, but you know, I didn't really have an interest. <laughs> so during high school, there was no hanging out. No, I no I no I hung out. I, I even had a girlfriend in high school. Yeah. See, you had. This is why you have to ask multiple multiple questions because <laughs> a lot of what we remember and a lot of the stuff that we uh, have this belief system, we have to always sometimes remember that we have to recognize that we're looking to it from that child's mind. Yeah, but I wasn't staying out late. Please, I was home by like even when I had a girlfriend, I was home by like maybe eight or something. Right, and yeah, then this, you would catch trying to get her before she got home from work, or was she at home and then you in the door by eight? I was. Just, it just was abnormal. What am I gonna do out that late at that time? It's crazy how different I was. I was like, what? What is Crack that? There's nothing to. There's you nothing sit on to the do. Stoop and you watch the neighborhood. I that that I could I not relate to. I could not relate to that at that oh age when I was a teenager. Fond memory well, of living in Harlem. I used to sit outside and watch Crackhead Chronicles. How yeah. old were you? Teenager, teenager. About, you know, my mom literally brought me outside and introduced me to my friend. Like, this is my daughter. We live here. You all be friends. So right. She introduced me to the neighborhood. And That's I would crazy. Sit outside. <laughs> <laughs> it would be me, her, and like uh, eight to ten guys, and we were just all like family you know and we would watch crackhead chronicles and we would roast each other for hours just, just roasting no, that sounds kind mama of cool. jokes and all that out. or just roasting them mama jokes oh man oh, clothes the way you look the way you smell just <laughs> and are these boys that you said these are men men these from are, the neighborhood yeah we all lived on the edgecomb strip and they would just come over to your like stoop, yes. your building number. Yes, 281. And 281. Just sit out there and just roast each other. Nice. <laughs> that sounds like cool. And then it's yeah. like people will walk by that and just throw their nose up to that. Like, oh, it's so loud on there, you know. Exactly. But they, y'all yeah, was. Oh, but did they know man. you were a child? <laughs> yes. <laughs> were, were they inappropriate though? I would say no. Were they inappropriate? But that's the thing. They, but I wasn't. Oh, no, whoa. so they were. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, you saying, oh, you know what? I got confused. I thought you were outside with your mother. Your mother introduced you to a friend, and you and that friend were outside. Yes. Where was yeah, mom? In the house. That's crazy. See, I didn't know yeah, that. I so thought mom was outside of the years, stoop with you. We're talking about 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I would always, you know, sit outside with them. When you say them, you're talking about the friend your mother told you, this is your new friend, y'all make friends, and Her, then the neighborhood the, men the would come over. The neighborhood guys, because, you know, some of them were our age, too. 
Mm -hmm. Right. So, and was there any temptation to sleep with these men? No, never. They were they were like brothers, you know. And the same thing goes for your friend? No, my friend slept with them. My friend slept with all of them. But you know, no. Those were my brothers. My friend. Sleep, wait, yeah, my friend slept with all of them. I didn't sleep with anybody in Harlem. Right, <laughs> right, right. No, they would try block after block after block, but never. No one. Good for you. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. You know, hey, we're trying to Harlem. You're racist. I no, because no, I her and I, people, we were well known in Harlem at one time, mm -hmm. and like I would, she has an uncle, AJ. I told him that he wasn't even allowed to drive. She wasn't even allowed to drive in the car with him. When I was coming up, that's how serious and protective I am. My woman is not going to be driving around and you, her uncle, with the chain on, looking like a hustler, because that's what his, he, you know, he's an educated guy, went to private school. Mm -hmm. So when he's out in the world, he likes to look like he's a tough guy. So when I was like, yo, my, my, my girl can't even be in the car with you. You can meet her here. Y'all can come and get chill and all that, but you ain't going to be riding around, driving around the Bronx and Harlem. It would come back to me. People would be like, yo, man, no disrespect. I saw a wife the other day. Everything good? Y'all good? Yeah. That's how it would have been. Like, yeah. seriously. And I'm not talking about within two blocks. I'm talking about the whole entire hall. That's a fact. Anyway, let me, let me digress from that. But, um... What... I just got a flash. That was my mother's co-worker. You told that to... That wasn't your uncle? No. That was her co-worker. His name is Duran. He was young. He had cornrows, a flashy car, and a nice chain. And, you know, he just wanted to pick me up and ride around. Like, you know, tall. And how old were you at this, say, at this time? I was Come about 20. On. Yeah, you were like 20. Yeah. I told her, you cannot get in the car. See, I thought that was her, all these years. I yeah. thought that was her Uncle AJ. No. My mother's co-worker. One of your mother's co-workers she yeah. sent to check to see if you like getting abused or beat up or something crazy right. like that. Yeah, they just wanted to, you know, take me out and have lunch with no, me. I don't play that. <laughs> because there's no way my woman's gonna be riding around with some dude in cornbraids with it. I remember he had like a turtleneck and a chain yeah. and he was all like this and stuff. That's you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, nah, that's you know. mad action. Yeah, you cannot you cannot be in the car with no man. That's a fact. Throw back. Man, Throw back. Yeah, man. Throw back so, when you were living in that Edgecombe area, you mentioned that your friend was very popular with the men there. Yes. Were there any pressures from these? From the, from? I mean, did you? Did any of the men try to be with you like that, or what was man, going on all the time? <laughs> no, never. You know, they would do a little flirting here and there, but it was like, stop it, you know. Mm, they're respectful. <laughs> Especially, you know, as I got 17, 18, my jeans started getting fitted and, you know, because I was a tomboy when, you know, when girls are thir 12, 13, I would wear looser clothes. I was into Jordan, so right. when I started weaving my hair at about like 17. Wait, what's weaving mean? Oh, put them in. Yeah, when you put, yeah. When you transforming. Because before that, you had spent your life in braids, correct? Spent my life in natural and braids. So you're in Harlem on Edgecombe, yes, 145th Street, with braids in your hair, hanging out with your friend who's very, very popular with the boys, and y'all just all day long, nonstop on the stoop, ripping and running. Joking. And to what times is this happening? Up until maybe. 11. 11 p.m. 11, 10, 11. So and your mother probably felt comfortable knowing that you in the right front. Outside. She in the front. Right. She ain't going. She just I in the right front. And, but yet the you street. got the wolves out there. <laughs> the wolves are out there. But yeah. mom is like, Tasha, good. Yeah, you know. And, and, and growing up, how many siblings do you have? And they were smoking and drinking, and I never indulged in any of it. You know, I right. wasn't tempted, you know, but I was. In the she's got over that, by the yes. way. Yes. <laughs> she's totally, she's totally over that. No, no. <laughs> so how many siblings? They know. One sibling, one sister. Mm. A, Where was your sister and how old is she, the age difference, while you outside rip, hanging out with, the, with, your, with your popular friend? I'm 11 years older and I would say mm, she was in the house. 
she was in the house, but as she got older, she was outside. You know, I would, well, you know, I would have her with me and my friends. Because my mom worked two jobs, so mm. when I was like 11, 12, when she came around, I was 11. So 12, 13, 14, she was right by my head. <laughs> and wait was, a minute, wait a minute. So your mom has a child when you're 11 years old? Yes. Oh, so this happened as soon as you move into Harlem? Yes, exactly. So you when soon move into, into Harlem. Harlem. My sister was born. Mm -hmm. Did you guys have your own rooms? No, we shared a room. You shared the room. Well, which actually, your... that's not true. She did have her own room. My mother changed. My mother gave up our living room and gave her a room. So we had three rooms sure. with no living room. Three rooms yes. with no living room. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And whose room was closest to the bathroom? Mine. Okay. Uh, and I whose room hers. was closest to the kitchen? Uh, hers. And hers is? My sister's. Your sister's. Mm -hmm. Okay. So your mother really sacrificed for her kids. Yes, she did. She gave one she closest did. access to the bathroom and one closest <laughs> access to the kitchen. That's she cool. Any and everything I wanted. She told me, you bring home good grades, you can always get whatever you want. And mm. we, that was it. <laughs> and what would be things that you wanted, though? I was into Jordans and designer clothes. Like, I wanted $100 jeans, Jordan sneakers. What were the name of the jeans? Coochie. Iceberg, Pele Pele. Ooh, Pele um, Pele. Yeah, Pele Pele. Isn't that leather? But, uh, Sergio Valente. Yeah, yeah, leather, Sergio but they have Valente. jeans. Sergio Valente? Yes. Oh, so you was people. you wanted the same jean my mother wanted? Exactly. My mother grandmother used to always, like, these damn things were $10. And, you mm. know, when I wanted them, they were 90 So they would always mm. you know, roll their eyes at that. They're like, that's cheap, but... They were all spandex down to the ankle. So, you know, that, so they were the flexible. Uh, and flexible. What, how yeah. many, yeah. how far from your ankle was this? Because you're the tallest. Yeah. Did they make something that fit you? It didn't fit me. I had leg warmers in all colors. Mm -hmm. I used to buy leg warmers because back then, if you had your ankle showing, those were high waters. <laughs> Nobody wanted to wear high waters. Right, so, right. you know. I was into socks. I always had, you know, different kind of socks and red ones. Look at that. <laughs> Did you ever wear dresses or skirts? Um, not that much. A few mini skirts as I got 17. I remember one time my mother made me go in the house and change. I was going to Coney Island and I came out with a denim mini skirt and a cowboy hat. She was like, where that's, are you going? That's out of control. <laughs> that was awesome. You know, so All of my she, kids walk out with that. <laughs> she was like, where are you going? You're not going with that skirt on. Right. <laughs> you know, but then that was another problem. Being 6'4", everything was extra short. So, you know, I wasn't trying to have a mini skirt. I just had really long legs. Right, right. <laughs> so. Look at that. <laughs> So your um your sister and you are living in Harlem. Mom is working two jobs. How much care did you have to give to her? Yeah. So what was that? How was that? Because she gives birth, and I, like how long until mom had to get back to work? Ooh. Well, she in the beginning she had her dad too. My sister's father around. In the beginning too so she went to she went oh the back sister's to father was she yeah. married to the guy no they weren't married. they weren't married so your mother's man at mm -hmm. the time did he have an influence in your life was he living there with you guys he was living there with with us yes and uh oh, somebody spoke to us <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. peace yeah uh, whoever it was this peace. person <laughs> it's um, the no Anonymity podcast. Nice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this is LJ, y'all. And yeah. LJ is giving us a little kind of because she's never been on the show before. Mm -hmm. You only see her in the comment section. And we were going to do like uh, 
talking about Diddy and this relationship. No, I know. It's since Martin kind of gets to know an individual. You know, so we, we're getting to know LJ a little character. bit. I've learned some things today, too, so that's what's great. Uh, we're at the part where LJ is living in the Bronx with her mom moving. She went from 11 to 14. Now she's about, well, she's 11 years old and just got a new sister into the house. And the father of the new sister is living there with you guys. Mm -hmm. And is he then raising y'all, raising the you and her? Or what's the dynamics with that situation? Yeah, his role was an authoritative role. You know, he was uh, my sister's dad, but uh, I- Are you saying it was an authoritative role? He was like in charge or not an authoritative role? What yes, did you say? he was in charge. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gave him a lot of mouth, but uh, I was uh, reluctant to, uh, you know, having a figure in charge. But he was a great. Guy. He was a he great was guy. Really playful. He used to take his out, and that would just drive me crazy. Walking down the street with a man that's constantly taking his finger off. You know the finger trick. What is he? Oh, oh, that was, that was that I was I was trying to like, figure out. What his signature like, move. Man, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every child had to watch his finger come off. So. <laughs> and it brought the children massive joy, I'm sure. <laughs> I like, was good with those. What's this guy's problem? Yeah, like, like, <laughs> no, I don't know. No, 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 no. You're jading. If you want to date, I don't know how to do that, but no, I, I know it's no, some no, sort no, of like... Trick, it's like right? this. It's like that. Some, yeah. Every <laughs> What's wrong with this dude? Hey, kids. Hey, kids. Hey, kids. Look at this. <laughs> All right, man. All right. Yeah, At least that, that, that's not that weird if that's all he's doing. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. So you had a good relationship with him, you would say? Or, yeah. or how was that relationship? Yeah, and good. how long did the friendship last? My mom was with him for ooh, maybe, what you mean, before she had the baby? or the No, after the baby. After, after the baby. The baby. Maybe two years. Oh, whoa, I didn't know that. See, I'm learning every day. So this this man only was with mom yeah. two years. No, all together. After the baby. After the baby, yeah. Two, maybe three years they were together. How old was your sister? Because my sister, she, when she went to, to preschool, he wasn't around. I would drop her off. So yeah, maybe two years. And what was your method of dropping off a child to preschool? In the morning, when I left in the morning, I would walk her to the school. Oh, so you guys would walk? Yeah, we would walk some mornings, or my grandfather would come and drive us from, he would come from the Bronx to drive us down the hill to uh, 7th Avenue from Edgecombe. You know? and, and tell me about your grand, you said grandfather? Grandfather. Grandfather. Oh, grandfather. What's his name? Grandpa Lenny. Grandpa Lenny. Yeah. And Grandpa Lenny was married to? My Grandma Maxine. Grandma Maxine, who lived in the Bronx. Yes, on Weeks Avenue. On Weeks Avenue, where you were not allowed to watch or go into the pumps. <laughs> yeah. You were not allowed to play in the hydrants. I only walked to the store. Could you stuff. walk by yourself? I could walk by myself. Oh, that's I cool. enjoyed walking to the store. I get to. <laughs> Say hi to all the people, you know. Right. That was like the highlight. They knew really? Miss Maxine's granddaughter. Everyone knew Miss Maxine's granddaughter. Yes. I love that. Are you stopping to have little conversations with them? Mm. Short, the, <laughs> the adults right outside. Yeah, short, quick. Ooh, you're getting so tall, you know. Yes. Always that. Yes. <laughs> you know, he's so tall. So now that, um, your mom, Grandpa Lenny, would drive from the Bronx into Manhattan to take you and your sister to your places? Or was that a rare thing or was that a common thing? That was common, that he drove us to school until I insist upon walking with my best friend. Who you were introduced to, your mom said, y'all gonna be friends? No, my other best friend from school. So at school, you had a different friend than you did on the on the stoop yes mm. we all used to hang out together on the weekends at times but i had two best friends yes mm. Dude, what's the best what's the second best friend's name or initials or something <laughs> her name is chance 
Okay, so that's Chance. Yeah. Chance is the friend. Four foot ten Muslim girl. <laughs> like, I, ha I hate to correct you, but remember she told us she's a Jew. Oh, she's no, not she Muslim. A big but, she, but she wore she the hijab. She was raised. She was rocking in the hijab, but she was Jewish. Muslim okay. slash African. What is that? Like, her mother threw bones, so that's what. I don't know what that um, is. Like spiritual. Yeah, but her mother still is a Jew. They're Jews. Right. She They're was Jews. A spiritual Jew. Yeah, she's like her mother was a Jew and maybe spiritual something else, Jew? but they had nothing to do with Islam. That's the crazy part. Muslim. I, she didn't eat pork. See, Jews don't eat any pork either, you oh, silly lady. Okay. Here's the funny part, Ulrich. I gotta keep it real. So her <laughs> friend Chance, we like you know we became friends at one time. Yeah. And. She was like, I was like, yo, I heard in school you was a Muslim. She said, I'm not a Muslim. And I was just like, oh, LJ told me you're Muslim. She yeah. said, I'm not Muslim. I'm Jewish. I don't know. She said, because I used to wear the hijab. Yeah. And I was like, this is her best friend. But they didn't know that she was a Jew. She thought <laughs> because she's in Harlem. And everybody, so she just was related by the community. Gave her an understanding of this young lady. <laughs> She got to be Muslim. We in Harlem. <laughs> if you was in Williamsburg, you would have not thought that. Yeah, she look Ricardo Emanuel. <laughs> Ricardo. This is LJ, y'all. So, LJ here. Um, can I water for that or that's gone? Uh, I mean, yeah, they can. No. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Look at LJ. <laughs> Coming to clutch. So, we have a situation where um, your your grandfather is taking you and your new friend to school. No, me and my sister. To school in the mornings. Yes, school in the mornings. And you said this is an often occurrence. Would you say twice a week often or? Ooh, I would say at first he was doing it all five days a week. You know, I had to ask for him not to do it so that I could walk with my friend. Mm, I used to now walk I remember with that. My friend. Sorry. You know? Right, right, right. Yeah. So, Grandpa. She lived in Drew Hamilton. No, she lived, she lived across in 310. Across from Drew Hamilton. It's 310. That's not the project. No, 310 is not the project. It's project ish. Same type of people. But, but not, it's project. not the project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe it's Mitchell Lama. Mitchell Lama, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if you guys need to know what that is, just Google it. <laughs> it's another yeah, Democratic pro yeah. um, thing that they work. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. I used to like being in her house because it was so, you know, wild and crazy. I always liked wild and crazy because I didn't have wild and crazy, mm. you know? It was just like calm. Your mother was more conservative, I think, yes, right? Yes, my mother and my grandmother. Very, you know, very calm. With no religion, no, you know, just calm. <laughs> mm. so, when, you, when you say calm... TV watchers. <laughs> TV watchers. Snacks and TV Not watchers. Chatting on the telephone. You know, don't have to go outside every day. Mm. You know, just my mother used to drive to Yonkers to do the laundry from the Bronx. We would drive to Yonkers to do laundry and food shop. That's bananas. Right? Why she that wanted for? to be. <laughs> you know. Would she you said, say she wanted to be away from the people in the? neighborhood or yeah. is this here's the question is this some sort of introverted she wasn't an people introvert. she just didn't want to be around those types of people that lived in our neighborhood so this is a snobby sort of uh <laughs> very much <so>. okay <laughs> and then it, it could also be the look at me i go to yonkers to do my laundry Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people, because I lived in Harlem so long, too, uh, that there was these, these, these snobs that I don't shop here, I shop there. You know, it's like, and then your mom had a car, too. Yeah. So most people, I could see them saying, yo, I'm going to use this car. Because your mom, was she buying used cars or new cars? Used cars. And so she started buying new cars, you know, later in life. But, but at that time. The first, yeah, the first 20 years, it was used cars used cars mm -hmm. and what kind of cars were you drive was she driving the first car was a station wagon okay do you remember the kind of station wagon um, i don't remember 
That's a huge car to park over there. Yeah, oh, but it was on Jerome, you know, that huge hill. Oh, when you was when you talking about before this move to Edgecombe, when before you were in the, the Bronx. Move to Edgecombe in the Bronx. She right. had her first car. It was the first apartment. She had a car. She had a car too. That's kind of very independent of your mother. Oh yeah, my mother was extremely independent. Independent. Always. Was it the two jobs? I guess it was the drive, you know. What do you mean? It was her drive. She had know? that drive. She had that drive. Even now, she does three doubles a week still, at least, nothing less. My mother's, you know, she's a workaholic. She puts in 70 hours a week. <laughs> it's like Ulrich knows what I call Light it. work to her. <laughs> no. <laughs> work a bee. Yes, oh, yeah. work a bee. She's a work a bee. And, you know, she was into spending money. So, you know, she had to work for it. Was this money spent on the children and the good grades and you can get anything you want, so I'm going to work two jobs? Was, was this a big shopper. There was one point in time my mother had 25 credit cards. What? Yeah. What year is this we talking? The 90s. How old are you? Um, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They used to have interventions to... <laughs> To um, stop my mother from spending her family members. They used to really? Be like, really, really worried. They were like, sit her down and say, girl, you don't need 25 credit cards. Yes. That's crazy. <laughs> really? That's so interesting. Yeah. And when you say family, who's who's getting together for these interventions? Aunts, you know? Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's a throwback. How, how do you, what do you think about that, uh, the intervening of one's finances? Mm -hmm. My family. What do you I, think about I never, that? I've never heard of that. I've never, never heard of that either. That, no. Yeah, interesting, right? Were they helping her pay the credit card? So they had these meetings to try to stop paying or? Stop her from spending so much, you know? So but how does a person even know who's spending money? How do they know that? I'm sure she must have told them, you know? Someone told them. I can't remember how they Maybe she's showing a lot. Maybe she's showing a lot. But you know, I remember right. talking about dealing with that. And you know, I had, I used to have credit cards too. She would give me the mm -hmm. second card on all these store cards. So as a child, I had credit cards. <laughs> how old were you with the credit card? Eight, nine. You know, and you're like learners. five foot ten? Yes. No, yeah, five for ten exactly. Oh, I would go to like learners and shop with my credit card. I don't even know what learners, learners is. Learners is New York and Co. New York and Co. was originally called Learners. What's oh, is New that York the, and Co? I don't even know what New York and Co. is. New York and Company was the oh, store. Oh, the business suits? Where, oh, yes. Oh, that that was conservative? First, it's called cheap, Learners. Polyester? Yes, that was my first card. <laughs> mm. And I would go there and shop for my own, for my credit card. Wow. What was it? Well, wow, that's so cool. Yeah. So where would you go to shop yeah, at? You yeah. were on the train then. Yeah, I had, um. oh yeah, on the train. Yeah, on the train and the malls. When we, She would always take me to the malls. So How often would, would you do that? The malls on the weekends. And um, when you say malls, we talking about in New York City or out of New York City? In New York City, the Galleria. The Galleria, the Galleria Mall is in, the, is West in Chester. Westchester. That's West not the Chester. city. The Galleria Mall is in <laughs> Westchester. What are you talking about? So you would drive yeah. from the Manhattan into Westchester yeah. to go to the mall often. Often. Nice. That's cool. And were you still able to get whatever you wanted? Come the thing mm -hmm. was that still happening? Always. Yes. Mm, so your mother's working two jobs to take care of. Maybe this. Were you spending a lot? You think with her? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think we, we weren't spending a lot. It was just the frequency. You know, we were always in the mall. Right. Every weekend. So maybe <laughs> maybe $300 every weekend, you know? Like, okay. We were just constantly. That's a lot of shopping. money. Yeah. yeah. Eating out. And, 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 and your mother is a, a working class, working woman in a, working for a corporation in the hospitality field. Yeah. And, um, were they paying like that or the credit cards is what kept her able to do this? Yeah, she was, you know, she was making, she was always working a lot, you know, mm. so it was a mixture of both, you know, yeah, she had yeah. bills over her head, <laughs> right? you know, so. Did you ever feel the stress of that or no? 
Well, I knew she was at work, so I would go down and visit her at work. I was just sharing with our children. Often, Ulrich, I would leave, and especially on the weekends and my days off from school, I would go down to her job and eat in the cafeteria with her at, at 12 o'clock when she went to lunch. She'd be like, you want me to be at lunch? So I would always come down from 145th and go through the World Trade Center and go to the employee entrance and have lunch with my mother and her co-workers <laughs> right you know daily and so, what they were what were what were the meals you guys were like it was there was well, the marriott cooked ah uh, i didn't even want to say the words oh, sorry. <laughs> I really, yeah. Yeah. The marriott cooked for their employees even now to this day they still prepare food for them every day and you would go there how often to have lunch with her this must Ooh. be summertime though all during, you know, whatever I could. When mm. school was Holidays closed, and all that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Half days. Spring break, you know, all that stuff, spring right. Spring break, so everybody knew me. I was always there. You and, and your relationship with your mom, would you say you guys were close? Yes. I very. would say so, too. That sounds super Extremely. close. I would talk to her on the phone when I was home. My. So, you know, we're just talking to my mother now. Now I can't believe I used to hold the phone because she would put me on hold, you know, 200 times throughout the conversation, you know. And why would she do that? Because she was, she was uh, working the, the switchboard, so she was mm -hmm. answering the phone for the hotels. So, you know, on the phone with me all day, answering her work phone. It's unprofessional. So. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 what, and what about boyfriends? When, when does boyfriend? that start happening? Boyfriends, um, I would say I started liking a boy at about 12, 13. The boy that lived across from my grandmother's building in the other side of the window across from mine. It was a very attractive male that used to sit at the window wave at me and Was he at the adjacent me. window? You're talking about on the same floor? <laughs> on the same floor. So right across. across the building. What was separated the building from across? What was it? What was like, if you look down. It was like what, a gate. <laughs> it was just a gate. How, how many feet do you think you were from this person? <laughs> Probably 25. 25 feet away is this it's a building. Attractive man. I'm a young man. Attractive. How old you say? Young man. Was he, he older was, or younger than you? He was a year older than you. A year older than you. Mm -hmm. And you're sitting in the window, can't play in the hydrant, but yet you got this boy <laughs> across the window. I mean, is this Romeo and Juliet going on over here? What the heck? I mean, you are sitting at the window and this boy. Yeah, yeah. Light skin, and he had six brothers, and they were all dark skin. <laughs> right, it, it be like that sometimes. <laughs> it be like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. And he, I don't know, he noticed me one day. <laughs> how could how could he not? How could he not? Five foot eleven, five foot seven woman, a young lady across the way. He would sit at the window and talk to me through the window. And then we would just, because he knew I couldn't go outside. But, you know. odd. <laughs> but he was a wild, like, gangbanger. So, oh, he was a bad boy. <laughs> he was a bad boy. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know that neither. You see, I'm learning so much today. <laughs> yeah. So this bad boy that lived across the window. <laughs> how how did you guys did you guys at what point did you guys say we're gonna be together? Or who makes the first move? Is there a kiss? Is there <laughs> is there this romantic kiss in the alley or or did you guys with the window fogged up, did you put the heart in the window and then he wiped his window with his breath? <sighs> how did this go? Come on, this is good. This is juicy. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> throw it back, throw it back. Um, it was the summer of the Destiny's Child. No, 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 no. They <laughs> say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was 97, 97. <laughs> the summer of 97. Right. I remember I used to 
I already two. made my first million dollars <laughs> the summer of 97. Um, Go ahead. No, 97. <laughs> nine, seven. No, not ninety nine seven. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not ninety seven. Nine seven. <laughs> so what happened? I used to wanna walk to the store around the corner that passed this building instead of the store across the street to the left. Because mm. if I just went across the street to the left, I couldn't see him. But if I went around the corner to that store, I could walk past him. So <laughs> That's so romantic. Yeah, let me just say this. So that means... So I started it. <laughs> She's a very feminine woman. So, interesting. so here's the thing. This is a kid who you refer to as some sort of gangbanger. We said that respectfully. He was. And at that time... <laughs> it would be outside like Tupac, no shirt on, bed on his head. Right. Boxes showing, pants falling. <laughs> and he still was able to go up towards the window so you can... Did you guys talk? Yes. We used to, we used to open up the window to my grandmother. Was so like, LJ, open the window. <laughs> I, like, I wanted to always open up. be by the window and they hated it. Right. My grandfather understood and my grandfather used to let me sit at that window and talk to that boy. <laughs> So Grandpa Lenny thought it was all right for you to sit at the window and talk to the boy with, with, the, the, shirt with the shirt off, off <laughs> and the bandana and his boxer showing. They thought, this is normal. Y'all chill and that's, out. That's an aggressive stance to take. Just be walking up. That's saying you run the block, seriously. You mm -hmm, take a shot. Mm -hmm. yeah, just oh walking. Yeah. Through, that's a very aggressive stance. He so this was, was this was a this was appealing. This was like the bad boy. This was the this was he was your future. And you're Sierra in this analogy I'm 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 putting out there. Wait, you is know? he future? Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah, you know how she had it's a future, future, I guess. It's not yeah. that deep. I actually stole I that from, from Wayne. I stole that from Country <laughs> Wayne. Say, Sorry. Like Russell Wilson. No, I, 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 never never Russell Russell. I never thought about it, you know. Mm. Like, and how long did this romance go? Because you said at eleven you bounced to the Bronx. I mean to Manhattan. Harlem. How long were you two well, having I, I this? my grandmother's house so right because you know, your mom is working two jobs so of course you would be at so grandma's house i would want to come to my grandmother's house to talk to him you know mm -hmm. but once she got sick of it like and when you say she she would no longer let me talk to him through the window who's she my grandmother okay my mother was like you know you can just have him come over to the house in Harlem. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. So grandma <laughs> said, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. Pump the brakes. Let's take this slow. Let's take this slow. Oh, Rick, maybe you asked the question. You asked the question. I mean, I, I mean, I, whoa. I, I, I mean, so, so, you, so at this point, your mother your, your, your mother said, this is a nice man that we see every day. He's kind enough where, you know, he waits yeah, outside the window, you know, you know yeah, shirtless and all with his bandana. Yeah. And, tattoos and said it'd be better exactly. if you know he could experience you inside the house yeah where it's yeah. convinced but at this time we have seen him no not in the house you guys no no but his wait, mother wait, saying wait wait, mother wait 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 your mother didn't like your mother knowing that your grandmother didn't approve yeah. of this boy yeah your mom then says let him come over to the inside of the house or like yeah, the, outside. So they get a chance the outside to actually see oh, the outside of the house yeah, oh wait outside. oh she can't oh he can't and go mother, inside he started on the outside first but he he was inside by ooh. wait I would say by the second how old month. is this person by the second month he's in the yeah, crib. how old is this person so, he's a year older than yeah, her. Oh, she's yeah, 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's 11. Wait, he's 12 year old so gay. He was around. No, no, no. But we were still, I was going to my grandmother's house to right. see him. He started coming over at 13. Right. So, two years, you guys mm -hmm. have this, this, yes. like, I'm looking at her. She's looking at me. We got the window. Was there ever any contact no, while you were in the Bronx between 11 and 13? Kissing? No. I kissed him for the first time in my house in Harlem. In the apartment. Uh, in the, in the mm -hmm. apartment, on the couch, with a girl in between us. What, what, so what he was, reaches what over the girl in between y'all and he starts kissing you. Mm -hmm. I like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I've made that move before. I've made that move. Yes, I kissed, that was my first kiss at 13. So he, re, uh, who's the friend of one of the, uh, the friend? my god sister, Shaniqua. 
oh Shaniqua. Mm -hmm. So you he reaches over Shaniqua. Yo, he was probably feeling the up Shaniqua. Well, the whole he's like, time. he wind up sleeping with her too. Baby, he was feeling her up he while he was kissing you. Around yeah, him. yeah. Oh, he was yeah. Undeniable. Oh, oh I love it. Him. He I love it. Girls in high school and come back and tell me he was. He wound up. Wait, wait. What do you mean, us. come back and tell you? He wound up staying with us during a period of time. His mom kicked him out. So wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> you telling me how old? Wait, 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 wait. So he kisses yeah. the girl next to you while the girl is sitting next to you. Yeah. Sleeps with all the girls and you still are not boyfriend and girlfriend. And he's sleeping with other women or. Yeah, we well, when he was living with me, we, we we were acting like we were brother and sister kind of a thing. Wait a minute. What do you mean? You what know, do you mean? So. When your mother told him, <laughs> when your mother told him to come hang out with you, what was that yeah. about? To hang out with you as brother as and friend, sister, as know, a friend. As a friend. That's yeah. craziness. <laughs> That's insanity. Right. You know, it was never. Wait, wait. Know. Who said that y'all were just friends? Your mother or you? Me and. Yeah, me. Wait, wait, wait. So your mother brings a person over. Now they're in your house, and she believes that y'all just friends. I guess she knew the truth, but she let me go with that narrative. That's bananas. You know? oh, okay, okay. She well, she I is the him. same woman that's giving you whatever you want, working yeah, two jobs. She knew I so. liked him, but it wasn't. I didn't like. You know, that wasn't my boyfriend. We didn't introduce him. She would introduce him as her son. But it wasn't like this is Tasha's no, not boyfriend. For nothing. Much respect to that dude. <laughs> I mean, no. I mean, he got, he got wow, we got to we got to give him a big up. Like, time yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Yo. That was time. Yo, I gotta respect that whoa, gangster. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. That kid got some lucky breaks. If I had, a, if I, <laughs> my God, that was dude. I would have been, I would have been killing it too, man. Yo. <laughs> Because yeah, I mean, he was this buying kid got, him clothes. He was got some luck. She was him. shopping for him and everything. Him clothes, it yeah, was it because, just his charm that made your mother want to buy some well, stuff for him, or was she just like giving? His or, like, mother was had like eight kids. She was a all right. So she had some felt some sympathy know, towards him. Okay, right, I get you know, it. He had been to jail. He had, you know, he was like a, he was a troubled teen, you know. Right. But, you know. And she felt some, you know, you know, yeah. she felt some and, care you know, towards him. Yeah, he was very attractive too, so I'm sure, you know, she didn't mind looking at him. Not that she looked <laughs> at him like that, but you know, when 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 people are beautiful, he, he the, they get treated a certain way. He was, yeah. Exactly. He was you know? the yeah. stud of edge comb. Yes, he was. He the was hunk a stud of, of wherever yeah, he went. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, no doubt. You know, he was a stud of wherever he went. And know? at any, so do you telling me you guys kept the rules? that you are just brother and sister so much that he would then start telling you about the other women he was with. Exactly. And yeah. you were, and are you in love with him at this point? I am. Mm -hmm. mm. So you're just eating all of that. That's like mad, like, whoa. Wait, what, what was about mm -hmm. this kid? Was it that his, his carelessness, how he didn't like shirts? What about him? What, what, what moved you with this kid? He was uh, ch charismatic, he was confident. I just loved him. Uh, <laughs> no, you gotta do better than that on this show. You know, uh, I, we go uh, deep, girl. Come on. You know, I felt sorry for him. He was in a one bedroom with, you know, he Thank was God. in a two bedroom with, you know, he had two older brothers and two younger brothers, and mom was very poor. You know, he All was right, like so. poor, poor, poor. You know, they would. Um, so it's like you. It's like you. You couldn't help but love a person that can live in that. And he and he was also it's like he, no he was a canary in a coal mine. Always coal fighting mine, over there. It was just like, like the boy, four six boys are just crazy. tearing up the whole house. And he got it kicked out of the house, I guess. Yeah, so yeah. 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 say he used to run from one side of the house to the other, <laughs> and damn near knocking the whole house over. Yeah, yeah. 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 he used to. He he's fought yeah. his mother in the street. Yeah. Yeah. He fought his mom. Yeah, no, he fought no, no, his that. mom in the street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's it. Yeah. Wow. My love for a person would go away that immediate moment. I was like, whoa, you you ready to fight your parents? Sorry, <laughs> we can't be friends anymore. Yeah. Yeah, you would think, right? You would no, think. That, maybe that, that, that reinforced your love. You know, He's he crazy. Like, he don't care about nothing. Yeah. He was a Scorpio. Oh, uh, what's that? Oh, come on. What's no, that no, no, no. We don't, we don't do that on this show. <laughs> no, 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 no. We don't do that on this show. You cannot even. You can't he was even, a like, Scorpio. You can't even. You can't even do that. What are you talking about? So, so you, you get your first, you get your first kiss. <laughs> 
with this guy. Is this the first kiss ever of any guy? Yes, 13. Mm, 13 years old, your first kiss. kiss. Mm -hmm. And then at, at to what point, how long is he there for? Um, He wound up going to jail for, he went to jail. So all this opportunity he has with a grown woman loving on him, letting him stay there, and her grown daughter woman. madly in love with him, mm -hmm. and the grown woman is buying him gifts, treating him like a son. Yeah, yeah, yeah like brother and sister. Yeah. I got two kids now. And he still ends up in jail? How does he, he miss? What's, what's wrong? It's, it's it's like, that, that means he's he really was yeah. about that life. Yeah, <laughs> he, he was. was. He, he was about it, about it. He got a few stints in, stints in jail. You know, he's but, wait, wait, did wait, he wait. A, did he have a Let's moniker? not even go to him and his yeah. life like that. Let's just go to like like some bones. Oh, we don't even say his name. <laughs> exactly. Let's not say his name. Okay. Um, but here's the thing. This young man he seems to have it freaking amazing. And now no, he had it pretty bad. <laughs> no, no, at, at, at her house. I guess that's oh, what it was, you know. Uh, yeah, I was, he, he was a smoker, a drinker, and I wasn't into that. So mm -hmm. he, you know, I'm sure, you know, he was just out in the streets partying. And he probably was How older. Old than, is this he probably kid? was older than he said he was. This kid? <laughs> 13, 14 <laughs> he, he years old, drinking, old and smoking. Yes, and they start drinking at 11, 12 yeah. in the ghetto. That's not just the ghetto love. That's uh, yeah, in the, the suburban suburbs, basements yeah, in the suburbs, is popping yeah. with alcohol. So, yeah. And they're 15 years old, 14 years okay. old. You know, mm -hmm. and um, the parents are like, y'all just don't make a lot of noise. <laughs> y'all go downstairs and do what you got to do. You got a safe space here where the black person kicks you out. You want to get high? Get out. <laughs> you know, the the more Anglo person is like, uh, go downstairs to the basement, man, and y'all. Y'all, 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 don't make no sounds. I don't want to smell that. Light an incense. Because they'd rather <laughs> not have their kids like having police contact. Huh? Yeah, 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 don't even worry about that. This is too juicy. Ulrich is a This is too good. Uh, this is too good. Spell my name wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's U L R I C. No H. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now the boyfriend is, is how long until, what, what point does he go to jail for his lifestyle? Maybe about 16, he went to jail. Like so, he did wait a minute, time. so 13, 14, yeah. 15, 16, that's four years. Yeah, what's your... Four years, he's living in your home. No, he's not living in my home just yet, you know. He's, he's not living in my home until... You know, he just comes to visit. He just comes to visit. Right, yes. okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Yes. So your mother is buying him clothes. I don't know why in my yeah. mind I'm he thinking he's he like would. rocking it in the, you know, living no. in the house with the clothes. No, he he's going home us. with the clothes. Yeah, he's going home with the clothes. Just, you know. He would. probably like, yo, my sugar mama got me something new. Mm -hmm. Oh, I ain't bad at it. She knew he was poor, you know, and his mother didn't have any money. So she get him Jordans? You know. She bought him, yeah, George, she bought him clothes. Oh, shoes. man, that's cool. Yeah, and she bought him cosmetics, like, Ooh, no. toothbrush, my mother, you know. Hmm. Socks, So what was, what was good with his mother? He was, They were just yeah, volatile or she was wasn't taking care of him? Spend the money on herself. Like, she I would she always issues. be nice and her kids would be in raggedy hand-me-downs. Yeah, so, so she mentally disturbed. She was one of those yeah. mothers. Yeah, she's, yeah. Yeah. And she's actually coming to our pizzeria. You she's come to our pizzeria? Yeah, she's coming to our pizzeria. Uh, I think mm -hmm. you did tell me about that. Yeah, she mm. was damn near crying. Right, yeah. she, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. She was uh, cool, she was cool. Yeah, she was so yeah. If anyone don't know, LJ and I used to own a pizzeria for five years yeah. in the Bronx, and um, yeah. we don't have it anymore because I failed. I would go see him in jail when I was like 16, 17. Uh -huh. I would go like, on, I would visit him on the weekends and stuff. And my friends used to be like, I don't know, how are you doing that, girl? You crazy. <laughs> so that means now you're visiting him in jail. I was visiting him in jail when I was in high school. Yes. Wait, so was this a long Whoa. trip? You were taking yeah. like, a, you were actually taking uh -huh. some time to go Was he in a prison yeah. or a juvenile? In a prison. What? And what, prison. You had to yeah. wait in line with all the other families. Mm -hmm. Jeez Louise! Yeah. Whoa! That, you were you were in love. In a prison. <laughs> <laughs> and you That's ridiculous. So, 
my mother would give me the money to go. Wait a what? minute. What? 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 Why is your mother facilitating this? I what? I, thought, you know, I was questioning in my mind. She was supportive. I would have so, to go see him. So your know. mother supported you going to see your friend, your brother. Yes. Not your jail. lover. Who was oh, writing yeah, me yeah. letters and, you know. I used Did to them, have hundreds of letters. Uh, that he would write his sister. He would, yeah. He would cor we would cor correspond. Were any of the letters. was any of the letters romantic? <laughs> they were all romantic. They used to come in beautiful. So your mother envelopes. knew. So your mother knew, of course. You know, they would have rap artists on the envelopes and be How do you put colors. rap artists on the envelopes? He was an artist. He of so, course he can draw. <laughs> Of course he can draw. Yeah, he sounds like a tortured soul. <laughs> tortured soul. He's so, sick. You know, three hundred years ago, he'd have been starving artists and just, he, you know, he'd have been he famous make, in the neighborhood. He make music. He'd have been swinging like, that D all over the world. Oh, that story's so nice. So your mother's story and this young man's story—it's a necessary story. This is part of reality. Some. It's kind of like a little bit like, oh my God. But it's also like, wow, this is like people have heard of you. They've never really got to meet this person. And then what would you think of this person on paper versus mm. what we see here today? Yeah, I used to love those hood novels, you know, all those, uh, <laughs> Iceberg Terry Slim. Wood books. And, you know, I always, you know, used to love to read about the drug dealer's no. girlfriend in Baltimore. You know. In Baltimore, <laughs> right, right. You know, yeah. I remember so, when I met yeah. you, you were looking at some sort of like sex trafficking in Harlem. I said, girl, don't. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I said, this is not the book you read. Yes. No, no, no. I love you. I care about you. Oh, but this is yeah. going to mess up your mind. Let's read some of this right here. No, I get I that. Read, I get know. that. And uh, my mom was married to someone in jail, so. All right, so she, she okay. has a sympathy now, towards So the father, what, your sister's father is in jail? No, oh, wait, you said she never married was, him. No, she never married him. This was before my sister's father. She was married when she met my sister's father. She was married to someone in jail. Oh, she, wow. You know, so who? She used to go and see him and stuff, so I would go with her to see So her your husband. mother is the OG jail wife? Yes, my mother is the original jail wife. Nice. <laughs> That's a oh, fact. Geez, it's because of your mother they made TV shows. Yeah. So <laughs> she ain't did nothing that the world don't want to see or hear about. Mm -hmm. So let me say this to you. So your mother's <laughs> working two jobs, has a daughter and an adopted so-called son and a child, another daughter, and a husband in a prison. <laughs> is that was the prison nearby or how did she did she ever go see him or? yeah she would drive he you know depending on where he was he would he would be really far upstate though so you know. and this brother of yours were they both in jail at the same time no mm -mm. so the the husband that she had in jail was not in jail when that well, actually her second jail husband she wait met, her second jail husband was my boyfriend, you, you, you asked the question. <laughs> you go, you go. Her second jail husband was my boyfriend. Sorry, mom. <laughs> Wait a minute. You know what? Your mother could have damn pr produced one of those shows. She you know could've. what I mean? She could have really been a producer on the show. At least given <laughs> up. Uh, she could have given a lot of synopsis. Like, like um, I don't know. She could have did something, man. Because she obviously has a lot of information on that. So your mother has a jail husband, divorces the jail husband, or he did he die? I'm sorry, I, I don't. Well, she divorced him. You know, she broke his heart. Yeah, he came home. And he was told he no longer had a wife. <laughs> <laughs> but let me ask you, why are you laughing so sinister? Because he no longer had a wife. No, because I, it's just so. But the why way, the sinister lie? Oh my no, God! Because the, my mother, my mother should have been. She was the reality television. Because you oh. know. My mother was right. originally reality She's TV. fostering this crazy like, relationship. <laughs> she told so, him that they weren't together when he came home. He, When he got released, he, he thought he was coming home to his wife, but he came home to a woman in a house with a man and a baby. <laughs> All right, she has a child. It makes sense. Now that's, it's, that's, that's, now that's it's coming together. Eyes.
<laughs> okay, okay, okay. So at what point does she get the second husband? She gets the second husband. Actually, when I met you, around the time I met you. Mm, see, yeah. I'm learning so much today. She had, yeah, because she had came to the bar and just, I'm married. So she had. She came met, to my bar? She came to know when I was bartending. She Wait a minute. You, you jumped all the way to 21 years old. Okay. No, no, no. I'm just saying when I, when I, when was her second marriage? So her second all marriage. All right, all right. Her second marriage is when you was. She 10 years was when uh, I was in my 20s. She married my boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend's cell partner. So he had hooked her up. And when you say ex-boyfriends, let's you moving fast. You have, you have an ex-boyfriend? Who's the ex-boyfriend? The same young man? The same young man, yes. She was, she corresponded with his cellmate? She corresponded with his cellmate. Why and then married him? him. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the love of your life is hooking up your mother with future husbands. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. When yeah. I say and I, I say that, I'm gonna retract the love of your life part. When this guy you were in love with, mm -hmm. and at what point did you did you did the guy come home from prison? He did a good thing. He yes. gave he gave your mother he, uh, he gave your mother a husband. When I was 19, he came home. When he was 19? When I was 19, he came home. I met you when you were 19. Yeah. Wait a minute. So, before you were 19, how long was he in jail? From 16 to 19. 16, 17, 18, 19. Three years. He, whoa, this guy's a... a like an artist, but like going to jail on time. Yeah. That's like, right, committed That's a serious a crime. Yeah. And are you visiting him this whole time? Yes, I, vi I visited him the first, yeah. Mm -hmm. The yeah. first what? The whole time. The whole three years you visited him. Mm -hmm. So at what point, so that means what? What are you saying that you're, what are you, what are you, what are you saying to us here? Same, that you've only like been with one man <laughs> and then <laughs> then you meet mm. then you meet me mm. Mm. wow <laughs> dang no wonder we've been together this goddamn long they mm. all the studies say that women with the slowest body count stay together with men for so long it's so interesting it's so true wow is this the way the world knows us? Is they gonna are there gonna be receipts on your ass and they're gonna be talking about us? Wow. About <laughs> wow, that's interesting. So at what point when the guy comes home, what happened? You had met me. Or no? Yeah. I had met you. I knew you when he came home. Yeah, but how we we were broken up, you know, we had broken up towards the end of that. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of remembering this stuff now. I'm thinking, yes. I'm remembering this stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I'm, I didn't see you for a few weeks. She I'm totally saying, disappeared. Two. She disappeared on me. Not even two weeks. And I told her, when I saw her, I said, it's okay if you slept with him. That's okay, because that makes perfect sense. He is an artist. You know, it's okay. No big deal because it would be hard not to. Would you? How you feeling now? You remember that? Of course. Okay. I don't mm. think I don't know if it was just like that, but I remember saying that to you. Yeah. That. You told me you drove down the block and you saw us. Outside. I saw you guys outside. Yes, mm -hmm. I drove down the block and I saw them. But I didn't know that was him though. Yeah. I didn't know who he was, mm -hmm. but I saw you with a dude. And yeah. then you told me, you called me, mm -hmm. and you were like, yo, where you at? What's going on? I said, yeah, I'm at the bar. I said, yo, but listen, you know, I ain't seen you in a while. I'm not into, like, you know, don't play any games. Mm -hmm. And she was just like, my ex came home. And I was like, if you slept with him, it's understandable, not a big deal. That makes sense to me. Because, you know, you she spent three years writing this dude. She, like, deserved to get some of that, you know, that jail or something. You know what I mean? And then... You never want a person with, um, you don't ever want a person with 
um, wanting the old person, you know, like there are people that just constantly just think about, man, I had this great thing and I wonder how would it be if we were ever together, you know, so I always, I just wanted her to understand like, you know, whatever is going on, you know, just what you want to do, like you good, what's up? Yeah. Do you remember what happened after that or how, do you remember how that went? Yeah, I was like, I'm good, you know, we're not together. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't gonna work out. You know, he just, you know, yeah. he came over to try to give us some, you know, some pity, some, some, <laughs> some, he some was you know, community, you know, community he, property. He was community property. <laughs> right, right. You see these drawings to show my pain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, at, exactly. look at the tear in the eye of Aaliyah. And he this is me day uh, one without you. Robbing his job and doing ten years in jail. Oh. You know. Finding out, you know, <laughs> so mm. we talked well, about uh, career, maybe you found someone else man, that that you know can you know, mm. tolerate all that stuff. And how many it's men so have you sad. been with after that? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Is that light above your head? Can that go on, please? Oh, then I will like, <sighs> no, you won't. Please don't go. Just thank you. Is it on? Mm -hmm. it's, it's on but it's Let me see. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Much better. Magical. It's like on my hair. I want it on your hair. I want that. <laughs> I want to see that. That right there is what I want. Don't move. This is our thumbnail, guys. Come on, give me a give me a little bit more where I can get it on your. I'm face. animated. No, no, oh, Tasha, right. a little bit more animated. The, hey. the, 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 no, I want you to see your hair. I want to see no, your hair. Let's see, Rilla. I want to hey, see friends. the top of your hair. Back up, just one, right there. Back up, move up a little bit. Move up. <laughs> Stay right there. All right, that's good. That's the thumbnail. What no, minute I is don't that? Do this. I know, I know. <laughs> but you know that light, Tuesday. that light over there is gonna start flickering. It's not a good light. It's I'm gonna no 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 no. I want it on for now. You look amazing. You're happy. We're good. So, so this, you lived an interesting life prior to me. It was very like, um, it was very hood romantic. You're the girl. You're the high school girl, six foot four, who is visiting a guy in jail, and mom is helping fund it. That's very different. And then you meet a guy from Harlem. Mm. Who's a little different than all, all the rest of the guys in Harlem? That's a fact. Yeah, and um, you know it's been a great, great ride. Even this new ride we're on, we're on this new, this new roller coaster ride right now. And I, I you know, we, we will, we will make the adjustments. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it's so interesting, you know, and and and. You know, LJ, all this time in her life, never, never deal with the cops, never been arrested, none of that kind of stuff. Has a, you know, a, a, despite everyone around her having this oh, chaos, yeah, yeah. you know, true. you were able to maintain this femininity that I just love so much, and you've maintained this, this, this wanting to learn this whole entire experience, you know, and I love that about her. I love her so much. And I'm so glad we had an opportunity to just talk a little bit and get to know you, you know, the the LJ that most people never really get to know, especially the, these were the, this was the, let's call this the first 19. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> the first 19, maybe later on we'll talk about, you know, the, the next 19. Well, we've been together tw almost 21 years, man. Jeez Louise. Almost 21 years. Long time. Long time. Long time. Long time. Oh, I love you, baby. That's weird. <laughs> huh? That's I'm weird? Saying, yeah. Well, tell me why. Intimacy uh, is weird to you. Uh, no, it's not weird. Weird was the wrong word. No, it's okay. You can stick. You just stand, 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 stand 10 toes down. Let the world know just how weird you are. <laughs> I broke my I broke my uh, my my jaw smile for the thumbnail. Oh, oh, we're just suffering. Uh, we, 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 we. Uh, commenting. 
Do you want to go to the comments? Okay. All right. My peoples. All right. There's a... Oh, hilarious. Thanks, Carlton Way. <laughs> My bad, Ulrich. I, did you insult me? <laughs> Dude, that a good mess up. All hoods can draw FR FR. What's that? All people. All, all, oh, all oh. people could like artists or something. Oh, like that. All, 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 all these draw. damaged children are great artists. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> I was about to crack the case. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, chef throw crush like Tyson Burles. <laughs> I call you my lady. Are y'all still knocking down those Albanians? <laughs> oh, <heck are> we... <laughs> oh, you did have an Albanian. She was Armenian. Armenian. She was Armenian. Armenian. Oh, Rick, you jealous dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's lonely being lonely. <laughs> and what's up, my um, mom is so oh, Cody? Yeah, Cody, is that Cody? Is that your son? I hope not. <laughs> Cody's not. God, you better turn this off. <laughs> do not watch Cody. this. <laughs> now he's gonna do a replay, replay. No, you want a waterfall? Better. Yeah, sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. You gonna get some tea oh. on mommy? <laughs> he better not watch this. Yeah. He better turn this off right now. I'm not playing. And then, and then press one of those men in black. Yeah, and LJ, LJ and I uh, have that. Um, mm. Baby, did the light go off up there? <coughs> yeah, it started to blink. <laughs> so I'll leave it. Mm. And I do have another light, too, but it's okay. Because, um, you know, this is my studio, so I should have multiple lights right now. I do have a really good light too. Um, Taco? Give me one second, because we're gonna be a few more minutes. And I want it to be, all right, this is fine. Let me not obsess about it. Uh, we had a great show, I think. We, we got to know right? LJ. We got to know LJ. Yeah. You know, we don't get to do all that kind of stuff. Oh, Rick, you're next. <laughs> no, next week, not, next week it's happening. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's happening. But, <laughs> oh, I love that about Ulrich. He's so tough. Man, it, was, it was lovely. It was lovely. To, <laughs> and LJ had known her for, the same as you have known her for years. And she's mm -hmm. always been cool. Always been great to talk to. And Amazing. it's been a pleasure to have you on the show. Right. Thank you. Right. It was a pleasure to be here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From this viewpoint you know me on the screen in the comment section yeah, you know what we're going to have T. Riddle in the back there we're going to yeah. be pressing your button uh, and talking all that you know. talking about the Albanians so we got to go out there to St. Louis uh, to see T. Riddle in St. Louis uh, right. that's not mm -hmm. how it works so you got to come find us <laughs> right right oh we can just do the yeah. you know so um, I thought this was good. I think I'm, you know, step, you know, working on my interview chops, <laughs> learning to maybe shut up and let the guests talk. <laughs> I gotta do that, which I, I, I know that we had a great talk with LJ. There's no self-deprecating here. Um, that's not gonna happen. And um, next time we'll talk about the last, the last 19, you yeah. know, the last 20. We'll give that a go, hopefully soon. Um, you are appreciated for tuning in, y'all. This is Premium Black News. You are appreciated. Peace. I am Big Elvis' Chef Rosenberg. I'm Ulrich. And I'm LJ.